What's up guys, Primal with Mask. We're back in the gym today, continuing on with our functional fitness series. The last one was revolved around those three tires back there where I took you guys through a high intensity routine. Today we're gonna talk about the sledge hammer and the big old tire. You guys have seen this in a lot of MMA motivational training videos, a lot of fitness motivation videos. You may have even done it yourself, but when it comes down to it, whenever I see guys in the gym training this particular technique, a lot of them do it wrong as far as the motions and the actual technique that goes into actually swinging the sledge, your body posture, and everything like that to actually get a good functional workout out of it. So what we're gonna do today is talk about the proper way to do the sledge drill, so don't go anywhere. In an effort to stay as functional as possible with our workouts, what we often overlook is the ability to maximize the effectiveness of the workout itself. And by doing so, you essentially target and engage all the proper muscles that you can. So a lot of that comes down to having the correct form and understanding the mechanics of a particular movement. When you understand the mechanics and you understand why and how they are the way they are, you start to understand how to maximize the effectiveness of a routine, whether it's a workout, whether it's shooting fundamentals, whether it's combatives, regardless what it is, when you understand the mechanics, you can start to develop the concepts and really learn how to build upon that situation. So with this particular tire drill, what I often see done wrong a lot is, it has to do with the mechanics and the way that they hold the sledge itself. A lot of trainers, I've been to a lot of gyms, and a lot of trainers will even overlook these, these, these errors here and they won't correct them. Um, a lot of people will tell you, you know, to have a good squared off isosceles style stance, and basically you're just gonna take the sledge and come up and circle it around a little bit, just make a little small circle and come down like that. Bend at the knees a little bit maybe. And that's okay, you will get a workout out like that. But like I said, it's about functionality and engaging the muscles that you can. So what we wanna do is actually have a staggered stance, just like this, and we're gonna go ahead and start swinging this sledge. And what we're gonna do is develop centrifugal force. So we're gonna, we're gonna start down here, we're gonna come up, we're gonna stay slightly bent at the knees the whole time, right? We're not gonna stay stiff. Slightly bent at the knees. We're choked up on the sledge, and we're gonna start to develop that centrifugal force. Just like that, that circular motion, okay? From that circular motion up at the top, that's when you start to slide your hand down. You drop that hand back down to the base of the sledge, and you slam down, slightly bending at the knees. So what that looks like is this. Good fluid motion, keeping that good and fluid not rigid. We want fluid motions. What you can do is also pivot over on that front hip, like that. You can pivot over on the back one if you need to, to get that power. And we're engaging everything that we can right here. Choking up every time. Don't stay down here and try to muscle it like that. A lot of times I'll see guys that just stay right there on the bottom, and they really struggle trying to get that around. You have to use more muscles just try to get that like that and go all the way around with it. So what you want to do is choke up, maximize the effectiveness of the, root, effectiveness of the routine, start at the pinnacle. That's when you start sliding your hand down and slam down. Choke up, centrifugal force, okay? So that's one way to do it. There's an alternating way to do it and I'm gonna show you that now. So now what you're gonna to wanna to do, if you wanna do this in an alternating fashion, is pretty much start with the same exact stance, same exact style, and we're gonna keep that same fluid centrifugal motion, just like that. As we swing down, we're gonna step across. So on the swing down, it's gonna go like this. Switch. This workout idea kind of stems from the idea of chopping wood. If you've ever chopped wood in your life, you know, you know the general motion is to swing like that, come down, 
and chop your wood. So that's kind of where this workout originated and this, this workout will target a variety of different muscle groups along the way, but primarily it's gonna work on your grip strength, your core stability and balance, and it's gonna work on your power. So combined with doing it the right way and understanding the mechanics like we've talked about here, you can target all the muscle groups effectively and get a really powerful workout out of this routine. So that makes this a really highly functional workout to start throwing into the mix. All right guys, that's gonna do it for the sledge drill. I hope you liked it. I know some of you guys probably already knew how to do this, but a lot of people don't, and a lot of people do it wrong that think they do it right. So I just wanted to come in and demonstrate how I do it. Um, feel free to use this in your circuit routines uh, if you want to. Like I said, we're going through a series. So the last one was that tire drill back there. And I'll pop that up at the end of this video so you guys can check that drill out. But ultimately what you want to do is just take a look at these videos throughout our series as we build up a bunch of them. And just, you know, if you want to design your own high intensity inter interval regimen, you can do that. And then you can just come onto our channel, pick which, which workouts are going to work best for whatever goal you have, combine them together and start doing circuits out of those. So, uh, and, and also, like I said, we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys some of my actual full circuits as well. So keep an eye out for that. So anyway, guys, I hope you're liking this functional fitness series. Let me know what you think about it in a comment below. If you liked it, please share it. Give me the thumbs up. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't. See ya.